So it is day two of the season one patch, and we are going to talk about my experience in day one of the brand new Diablo 4 season. Okay, we played 12 hours yesterday, and we got to really experience anything. We ended up ending around 47 at the end of last night, and now we're in day two just playing, and I kind of wanted to talk about my experiences and just what my overall thoughts are for day one. And now we're also going to include the... Um, the campfire talk that the devs had today so let's get right into it guys so we're playing barbarian um we we really got to talk about it i'm sure everybody knows that the the patch notes from yesterday going into the season from a couple days ago they all sucked everybody is super super upset so i'm not going to talk too much about that however i'm going to talk about my experience playing through the game okay I will say the biggest thing that kind of sucked was the the nerf to the EXP. Okay, group EXP really, really suffered yesterday. I've been playing with my team since the launch of Season 1, and it was really, really terrible. You can see we're still playing live right now. Okay, it took us, you know, 12 hours or so to get to 47, which I still think is pretty solid farming, you know, um, Strongholds, which is probably the best strategy if you're still in the early game in World Tiers 1 and 2, is farming strongholds until you get into World Tier 3. However, we did as a group do the world, uh, the castle dungeon to get into World Tier 3. Around, I was 42 and my teammates were about 45, 46. So we were able to do it and it was actually really, really fun. So the overall experience was just really, really slow. Everything felt super slow, super sluggish. Abilities felt really really weak and for me as the barbarian it really really sucked. Okay, just just plain and simple It absolutely sucked. Uh, I was kind of tricked here by blizzard I committed to playing bar before those uh, patch notes even came out and As we are men of honor in our word. We are stuck playing the build now if we fast forward to the patch notes or the campfire talk that we had today, which we'll pull up and talk about here in a minute we were able to find out that they are talking about buffing the uh, Barbarian as well as the Sork going into uh, a next week or the week after that. So it was, uh, to much to my surprise, maybe low-key, we really got to pick the best class in the game. I don't know, but Barb still suffered really, really heavily. So the leveling experience for me as the Barb really sucked. Like it... It was very, very slow out of all my teammates. I was doing the least damage. I wasn't really able to contribute as much as I would have liked. It just really, really sucked. I felt like I was the redheaded stepchild of the group. And there just wasn't a whole lot I could do or control at all. Now we've gotten to a point where we're in World Tier 3 and I'm level 50. We have a few legendary powers and Barbarian is starting to feel okay. Uh, it still doesn't feel the best. I still feel pretty sluggish. Um... And just overall kind of lackluster, I will say, as the Barb. Now, I don't have all the powers for this build, but we are, you know, we're able to do okay. We're able to actually contribute. Now, outside of how horrible the leveling process was for um, just EXP in general, everything else about the game was, like, okay. Like, going through Strongholds was, was okay, especially if you have a rogue in your group with a sorcerer. Like, that stuff felt okay. The Malignant Hearts and the Cage Hearts, that stuff is really, really cool. I really, really enjoy that stuff. That stuff is very, very strong. The The Malignant Story, Side Story, is really, really cool. That stuff is actually really unique and just really fun for the seasonal theme. The Story Mode inside that is kind of cool. However, after you complete the initial, the initial like intro to Malignant Hearts and explaining everything and you do a dungeon, now everything else is locked behind doing your seasonal journey. Your malignant storyline continues as you continue to unlock and do the seasonal journey. So that's really cool. The next big thing about it is the um, access to the legendary aspects as you continue to complete seasonal journey steps or tiers. You get more and more of these. You get some caches that give you some really good um, items. And then some greater favor, which is really awesome so like getting some of these is really cool i really like how they change some of these things like the shockwave aspect for uh the druid and the pulverized build they changed a few of these which i think is just really really nice i think changing a lot of those was really really smart on blizzard's part and i think that doing that allowed for some more variety and i think it makes playing builds easier okay so that's really nice um 
And I hope that they keep some of these as normal aspects in the future going forward. And I hope it's not just a seasonal thing. So the seasonal journey as a whole is really, really fun. You can see that I've completed some of these and I didn't even have to do them. So it's really, really nice. I will tell you that you don't necessarily have to focus on doing these. You can just really just play the game and you eventually just complete these. It's very, very easy to do. However, if you do really want to focus on these, then you can complete these as well. Um, then you get some really cool stuff in the seventh journey and some some other aspects, which is really cool. The Battle Pass. Let's talk about this going into day one. The Battle Pass in the um, emote wheels and all these cosmetics are really, really nice. However, those are just kind of subpar into the main part of this, which is why you're doing it, which is the Smoldering Ashes. You got your very first one at level 40, which we used in our Seasonal Blessing. We got the Urn of Aggression to give us more XP for monster kills. I do really think that the Smoldering Ashes is a very, very cool thing. And the fact that is it is account wide makes progression of future tunes even easier. And to note that in the new patch notes, which I will find for you guys here from DT, the patch notes here uh, for the hot fixes is really, really cool. Let's pull this up. So the hot, uh, hot fixes, they reduce the Nightmare Dungeon tiers, which is really nice and implementing things to make those a little bit weaker. And then there's some bug rate fixes here for the uh those are the old ones and stability improvements so it looks like they changed the nightmare dungeon levels today as the quick hot fix which is really really cool that makes doing nightmare dungeons even better once we get a little bit higher level uh so the smoldering ashes are going to be a very very good thing for future tunes and they've already talked about it today from the campfire that making um more tunes to level up is going to be a little bit easier than what they had changed it to so I think the seasonal journey is a big win. Seasonal blessings is cool. This is kind of subpar. The battle pass, it's kind of just whatever. Um, now, the state of the game and playing it felt not bad. Uh, again, the biggest takeaways I'm going to say for this is the, um, the, the real punishing blow to group play. Instead of 85% um, increase to health for... Monsters, it's 100%, which really, really sucks. So you really have to focus on playing certain builds and just really, really optimizing them to be, uh, to like have your experience be a lot easier. Now, I will say that the load screens in the game are, are the biggest dove from the whole patch because that's literally the best thing that they ever could have done. Uh, so the load screens, big dub, Blizzard, big shout out to you. Um, outside of that, guys, there's not too much. I really love the the fact that when you started your uh, season, you got both of these tiers done in the very beginning. That's a big dub for your um, region uh, or renowned progression. You only have to do a few dungeons as well as just maybe a stronghold or two to get to the third levels, which makes it a lot easier. I really do enjoy that. The world tier being all done. Hell tides are super, super uh, strong, so that's really rewarding and fun. Uh, doing the dungeons again are really cool. However, I really wish that we would have just been able to keep our waypoints, but that is actually not too bad as a whole. So that's really fun. So besides the nerfs across the board, as far as like doing nightmare dungeons or like fighting monsters in groups, the damage reduction really sucks. But outside of that, everything else was actually a really, really fun experience. And I have enjoyed playing season one so far. It's been a complete blast. Even though I'm playing arguably the worst class in the game right now until they buff it. But I think outside of that, the the fact that Blizzard has admitted to their wrongdoings in today's campfire talk. And the things that they're going to come into it to change. A lot of those things are going to be more stash tabs. The Nightmare Dungeons they've already changed. They're increasing the mob densities to Nightmare Dungeons as well as Helltides. They're also going to be doing... Um, the change, to, like I said, to the EXP, which is very important. Uh, that's really nice. They're also going to be giving us... Uh... Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Look at that vulnerable damage. Barbarian's insane. Um, so, there's a lot of things that they're going to be changing, which is going to be really nice to help balance things. And like I said, there's going to be a Barbarian buff as well as a Sork buff, which is really going to help me out. I hope it's really good. Um, but outside of that... We all have to just suffer in silence uh, to a degree, but I'm glad that Blizzard is changing things, which is going to make the game in a better state. So overall, guys, I'm still really enjoying Season 1. I'm enjoying um, playing with my community as well as all of my team members. 
And we are still slugging through, and I think we're doing a really good job. Uh, and we're having a blast. We're 51, having a really, really good time. We're going to try to get to 60 tonight, which I don't think is going to happen. We're probably going to get to, like, 54 or 55 maybe. But I'm having a really, really fun time with uh, the game. So that is what is most important, right, guys? That's what's most important. So let me know what you guys think about Season 1 and the future upcoming changes to the game and what your experience has been uh, if you are playing Seasons. So let me know down in the comments. Like the video. Uh, subscribe if you guys are new. And as always, stay gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.